Queen's Gambit accepted, classical defense, 6.00 NC67.NC3. 6 .nc Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. The queen's gambit accepted swiftly eliminates white's c4 piece and forces him to establish an advantage with just one pawn remaining. Nf3 develops the knight, protects the d4 pawn, and controls the e5 square. Nf6 supports the d5 pawn and controls the e4 square. E3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to capture the pawn on c4 next move. The e6 square regulates the d5 and f5 squares and permits the growth of the dark squared bishop. Bx c4 captures the c4 pawn, and develops the bishop to an active diagonal where it controls d5. c5 takes space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. The d4 pawn is attacked as the knight advances toward the center on move nc6. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is the last book move. This provides an equal exchange of parts. That's good. It's alright. That's good. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. This misses a chance to build a queen beyond of its initial square. It is incorrect. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This poses a queen winning danger. It is incorrect. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This poses a checkmate threat. It is incorrect. This protects the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. This makes it impossible for the adversary to fork parts. It is ideal. This allows the knight to control more squares. This threatens to attack a trapped queen. It is excellent. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. This can indicate that a queen was attacked. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This can indicate that a queen was attacked. That's good. This enables the adversary to issue a checkmate threat. It is incorrect. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. This missed a move that would have produced a winning advantage. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten checkmate. It is a miss. This is the only good move. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a queen. It is a great move. This ignores a superior approach to providing an equal exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good.
recaptures. It is ideal. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is quite good. When a bishop moves away from being attacked, this gains a tempo. It is ideal. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. That pawn was available for free. It is quite good. That was a great move and very hard to find. This threatens to win material. It is brilliant. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is excellent. This stops the opponent from being able to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is excellent. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. This poses a fork piece threat. That's good. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is good. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This prevents a rival rook from checking. It's compelled. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. It's compelled. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is ideal. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. This puts doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, diminishing its safety and weakening the pawn structure. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is quite good. The bishop is currently located at an outpost, a safe square within the opponent's domain. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. It's alright. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. It was a free pawn there. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That pawn was free for the taking. It is excellent. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.